I've always had a desire to connect with people, to meet people, to be a service to people in community. The first job was in Tallahassee with Leon County Sheriff's Department. I got out of police work for a little while in 92 to go to grad school. I got a doctorate in clinical psychology. Before my training, everybody just seemed to be a bad person. Having a mental health background, it gave me a far broader perspective. I began to see the distrust that people had in policing. Michael Brown's death was a significant tipping point for me. I needed to do something. I needed to say something. I attended several churches who were predominantly congregations of color. I very much felt compelled to say to them, and I did say to them, when I look back on the history of policing in this nation, I want to apologize for all the wrong that has taken place around the racist and biased experiences that people of color have had as it relates to the criminal justice system. Before we can begin to mend any wounds, we have to acknowledge that there was a problem and we just can't sweep it away as if these things did not happen. And they continue to happen. President Obama signed an executive order for the makings of the 21st Century Task Force. And we were charged by the president to come up with a guidebook to help us begin to build better relationships across this country terms that really grew out of the 21st Century Task Force report were transparency, accountability, and legitimacy. Here's the thing about police legitimacy. They have the ability to take the freedom away from people, and they also have the authority to take a life if it's justifiable. That's a lot of power and authority, but none of it means nothing if the people in which we serve in the community do not give us the legitimacy to carry out those functions. And right now, policing is losing a lot of its legitimacy. From my own experience as a chief twice in this country, people want you to be responsible. They want to know that we've selected the best men and women to serve. We don't want police officers who are going to bury their knee into the neck of a man as he cried to breathe. Every department also have to look inside the culture of that agency. In order for us all to be able to survive, we have to have good public safety. And the best ingredients there are for public safety is this. You must have trust. You must have trust. You must have trust and we're going to have to work hard to get it back.